The Neutron Star Bolt Cruiser is a cruiser class with a role as picket slash screener. Bolt cruisers are purchasable by the Rebellion at any tech level for 3100 credits on planets with an Alliance medium shipyard. Bolt cruisers can be refitted into instead of having additional weaponry can come with a hangar bay holding one T-Wing, one Z-95, and one R-41 squadron. When deployed to the battlefield, the Bolt Cruiser has the following loadout taken word from word from the descriptions of Awakening of the Rebellion. They have slow charging balanced shields with a strength of 3000. Balanced shields don't reduce or increase the damage taken from any weapon type and can deal with most attacking units rather well. Their whole strength is 5000 with medium armor. Medium armor protects ships better against light weapons as well as light turbo lasers but takes additional damage from anti-armor weapons. They have a speed of 200 with a low acceleration in turn. Their sensor range is 2000 with a max weapon range of 1000 with their ideal weapon range being 1000. Their weapon systems include two dual light turbo lasers. Light turbo lasers do the full damage against light armor but lose damage against medium and heavy armor. They are the most accurate turbo laser being able to effectively shoot at frigates and everything bigger. They have two dual heavy laser cannons. Heavy laser cannons excel at taking out small ships like corvettes and frigates. Their final weapon systems are 8 point defense lasers. Point defense lasers are very accurate but cause little damage and have limited range. Bolt cruisers come with a tractor beam and a personal point defense laser system that destroys incoming missiles close to the user. With all that being said, bolt cruisers will not be something that you most likely use very often outside of the ones given to you at the beginning of the game and ones from the space stations. Being relatively cheap and only taking up 10 tactical population space, you may think that they are a good ship as their damage output is quite decent. However, it is their size that is the killer. Because they are so big, it makes them easy targets and therefore other ships are better at doing their jobs.